Okay, and the next one is um, I'm going to introduce you about um, um, when we have defined the uh, structure, right? And I've told you that we can use structure as a new data type as well. So when I say that, so it means that you can pass structure to the function. This is an example of how to pass um, how to pass this to the function, right? Um, okay, so um, this, this example, you are going to um, copy this piece of code and then in the afternoon, right? We, I will ask you to uh, copy this piece of code and try to compile and execute um, on your compiler, right? And, um, this one, um, I just want to, to show you what is uh, this program going on, right? This one is to, to perform the card shuffling, right? And during program using data structure. So when you want to create a game, online game using the playing cards, maybe you have to use the feature card shuffling, right? In order to initialize the new game. Right, so how can we do that? In, a, in order to do that, first of all, you have to define the class structure definition, right? This one, we are familiar with this one already, right? right? This is a card structure definition and we define the number of cards that is of 52 cards and we have 12, oh, sorry, 13 faces, different faces of the card. And then, ah, okay, this is new to you. Type dev, type define. We use type dev or type define in order to define a new name for structure card, right? Oh, I can say nickname for simple. So when I define like this, type define structure card and then capital C A R D card. So card will be an alias name or alias name. Alias name means nickname of the type structure card. Okay, so you can use capital card, capital C card, right? In any place of structure card. Okay, so for example, you have the Function field deck, right? You can use card. And this one is a pointer, right? And then you can use card here, right? In order to find the structure card of 52 playing cards deck. Okay, and we have face, right? Defined in terms like this constant character faces. This is a set of faces, possible faces, right? And we also have three or uh, four suits, right? You can define it like this, like constant setting, right? And this one is too random and then field deck, right? And shuffle and then deal. You can get our deal, right? So we have three functions that you have the structure as a parameter passing. Okay, we are going to go into detail about this in the afternoon. Okay, we will try to uh, write this program and then we'll check it out about this going on. And then the result of this is to print out the possible number or the possible, um, the, the new sequence of the playing cards, right? We have 52 playing cards right, this is called shuffle, okay? So I'm going to show you that uh, the function can pass the structure into, as arguments to the function as well. Okay, here we are to the next one that is, um, I've just told you about union. What does it mean that by union? A union is a derived data type, like a structure. It is a kind of structure 
but the difference is um, you can have different kinds of format, right? User, uh, sorry, union definition has the same format as structure definition. Like this example, right? We have union number, right? Union is can be used like a structure and number is a kinds of the record, right? And we have two fields here, but you have to use integer X or double Y at a time. Okay, so union type you in uh, this one will indicate the number of that uh, indicates that number is a union type integer and double Y. So once you use X as an integer, double Y will be ignored. And similarly, if you use double, if you will use y as a double, integer x will be ignored, will be, will be freezed. Okay, I, I will show you the example. This one, better to understand. So if you define union number integer x double y like this, right? And once again, don't forget to put semicolon here. In a decoration, a union may be initialized with a value of the same type as the first union member, okay? Union member, the first union member is integer, right? If you define like this, union number, this is like a type, and then value, this is a variable, okay? You initialize to be 10. So now 10 will be assigned to X integer. Right, this is where it initialization and it will be initialized to an integer. And you can also define like this. There is a warning from the compiler, but now the value inside the union will be double. And it is 1.78, which is the double or real number. Okay, you can use this one in the, in the case that you want, you are not um, certain, it's not certain that you will use integer or double, or sometimes you can use both in different occasions. So you can define it as a union. Okay, so this is useful of how to make use of the union. This is how to demonstrate the union, right? First, you assign X as a 100, and then you try to, to print out the value. Integer will be 100, but double will be a garbage, right? But the next assignment, you use 100 and quite zero. Right now it's double, double. so you put here in the double member. So integer will be garbage or maybe set to zero, but now num the double now is so stored 100.0. So this is uh, an example of how to demonstrating, how to demonstrate union. Okay, maybe it's difficult to find the, the, the application of how to use the union, but I can think, I can let you think about this one is the, the, the how to make use of the union. For example, if you want to, to define, to, or to create a program in order to draw geometry, how many geometry do you have? Do we have circle? triangle and then square, for example. Okay, you have these three kinds of things that you want to, uh, to draw on your application, CAD application. So you have to define the structure of geometry, but inside the structure of geometry, you may have to select 
but one of these four, these three, circle, triangle, and square. But circle, you have to define what? Radius and center point, okay? And triangle, you may have to define three points. Okay, you can see that they have different properties. And the last one square is you have two sides of the same, the same length. You can just define the side. So this one, this is a good example of the union, how to make use of the union. You have no idea about the geometry that is going to be uh, done on your cap. Right. So you may have to use the structure that is overall for the geometry. And then inside the geometry, you may have the different type of union. For example, circle, triangle, square. There we have the, the, the different structure, but you want to define it in terms of in the same of the geometric object. So this is a way that you have to use union. So this is possible, right? But maybe it's a very rare to use, but there is a place that you can use. Okay, this is a good example of how to use the union. So I will go to the next slide. Which is the last topic that I'm going to tell you today. This is the enumeration. Enumeration, numerate. Numerate is equal to number, right? To make it to be a number. As I have just uh, discussed that the enumeration is important and it's very useful, right? For example, I will go back to the previous slide here, right? If you can see that if you want to, because we, you, we have known that there will be 13 faces for the car, right? One, two, three, four, five, until Jack, Queen, and King, right? These are possible faces, right? You have to in advance that, but you cannot define it in terms of the consent Okay, it's constant, but it is, has to be like this. And also we have the different type of suit, right? We have four types, we can do this. But instead of define like this, right, it's better to define in terms of the enumeration, which is useful and very clean. I say that clean, that is correct. It's clean because you are going to change the keyword into the set of integer. That we call integer enumeration constant. For this example, we are going to define a new type, a new type enum. The enum is a, an abbreviation from enumeration. Enum, you want to define months as a, a new type, right? And you have to use it in terms of enum, enum months, and then starting with the basis and then ending with the semicolon. And then you define, this is a constant chain, Feb, March, April, May, June, and so on, right? This one will be the constant. You can use this one. You can define chain in your function, but chain, if you didn't specify the, the value for chain, the chain, the first one will be set to zero by default by default. By default, then will be zero. And then, and then February, Feb will be one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Dick will be, December will be 11. Okay, this is the tradition <coughs> for enumeration, right? The first one will be set the value, integer value to be zero. And this one, that's why we call enumeration. It means that we will try to uh, to define a new set of things and enumerate or and make it and make them make that make their value to be a number so starting from zero. But if you want to create a new type, but you want to start chain from one, you can use chain equal to one, and then Feb will be two, three, four, five, six, and so on, and December will be twelve. So it depends on you. Why do we have to use this? Because when we define enum months, and then I define new variable x x x. Sorry, I use x x x because I cannot 
think about anything else. Maybe a youth man. A youth, a youth man. Okay, better. We should define uh, meaningful, valuable. Okay, let's say I can assign man to be. What does it mean by this month? What, what, what is this month? October, O C T. You can define like this month, maybe month, right? It's equal to October, right? So it's very easy for the human being to understand that the current month, current month is October. And what is the next? What is the next month? So in computer programming, you can use month plus plus. So when you, you use enumeration, when you perform month plus plus, month will be equal to November automatically. You can check if month is equal to November and OV or not. It will be yes, it will be true if you use month plus plus. It's very easy. And then when you use month plus plus again, you will have December. And it's very useful, right? When you use month plus plus again, it will be wrapped around into January. This is the very important and explicit power for the, for the uh, enumeration concern, right? You can use this one, like to be the number, right? and can, you can also understand the conceptual model of how to use month part plus. This is the way that you have to use the enumeration constant. Okay, this is an example of how to use the enumeration, right? First of all, you have to define enumerate months like this, right? And then you be what the first one. And then if you want to print out the month, right? That you can use, uh, you can have the name, constant month name. And then, can you see the loop? For month, from Jan, right? You can use Jan, very, um, a very easy to understand, right? When you come back to this code and then you see this code and then you can understand for month from Jan, Jan San from January, and then until December date, right? And then month plus, and then print out the month name, right? This is very, very, I would say that it's understandable and it is reliable as well. Okay, and then this one we print out the month, the month number and the month name. This is an enumeration. And we can also use enumeration in the sense of the traffic light. I've just told you in the, yeah, at the beginning of this course today, traffic light, how many traffic light here? We have red, yellow, and green, right? You can define enumerate traffic light in um, traffic light, maybe under some or yes, and then you can use this one, right? If you want to maybe the, the stage for the traffic light, but if it is now green, if you want to make the stop, you have to go to the yellow first and then before red. So you can use light minus minus light minus minus right to represent the green yellow red right to make uh, the the to stop the cars running okay i think that's all for today class you have any questions